Hello all, welcome to a new episode in Identity in 15. I'm TV from WSA2 and today we'll be looking at adding Asia Active Directory as an identity provider to WSA2 identity server. So for this demonstration, I'll be using WSA2 identity server 5.11.0. So if you haven't downloaded the product already, you can go to wsa2.com forward slash identity and access management. And then you can click on try it now, enter your email ID and click on the download button to download the product. Now I have already downloaded the server and started it. So let me just cut straight to the point. So before we add Asia Active Directory as an identity provider to WSO2 identity server, we need to create an Asia Active Directory application. In order to do so, go to portal.asia.com and then sign in with your account. Now I have already logged in using my account. So I'll be clicking on this hamburger menu button to open the menu and then select Asia Active Directory. So once you select Asia Active Directory, uh, let it load and it has loaded. So let me click on app registrations and click on new registration to register a new app. Now I need to give it a name. So let me call it identity in 15. And then for the redirect URI use HTTPS localhost 9443 forward slash common auth and then click on register. So now we have successfully registered our application. Uh, now WSO2's identity server uses Office Exchange online APIs to communicate with Active, uh, Asia Active Directory. So in order to allow WSO2 identity server to communicate, we need to give permission, access permission to Office 365 Exchange online. So to do that, click on API permissions here and then click on add a permission. Then uh, select APIs, my organization users, and then search for Office 365 Exchange Online. So let me select that one and then select delegated permissions because our application needs to access the API as a signed in user. So select that and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, select user and check this user dot read uh, permission because that's the only permission that we'll be needing in order to use Asia Active Directory as an identity provider. So let me check that and click on add permissions. So now that we have given permission to Office 365 Exchange Online, we need to create a client secret. So in order to create a client secret, select certificates and secrets and then click on new client secret. Uh, let me give it a name. So let me once again call it identity in 15 and one year is more than enough for us. And let me click on add to create a client secret. So I have got a client secret now. So now let's configure WSO2 identity server. So go back to, uh, go, go to localhost 9443 carbon console. And uh, log in with your admin credentials. And then un under identity providers, select add. Uh, then uh, we need to name our identity provider. So let me call it Asia AD and then scroll down to federated authenticators and select Office 365 configuration. Now click on enable to enable this uh, um, a federated authenticator. And then to get the client ID, go back to Asia portal and click on overview here in the side menu and copy the application client ID. You can use the copy button here. So now that I have copied the client ID, let me go back to the carbon console and paste the client ID here. Now, let me go back to certificates and secrets and copy the client secret and paste it here. Uh, for, for the callback URL, I'm going to use HTTPS localhost 9443 forward slash comma not. And I don't need this, so let me clear this and click on register. Now we have added Asia Active Directory as an identity provider. Now in order to allow an application to use this identity provider to log in, we need to create a service provider and add Asia Active Directory as one of the authenticators. So uh, let me go to service providers and click on add and give it a name. So once again, I'm going to call it Asia AD and click on register. Um, 
Since the sample application that I'll be using to demonstrate this uses OIDC for authentication. So let me configure OIDC, config, uh, OIDC authentication first. So under inbound authentication configuration, select OAuth or OpenID Connect configuration and click on configure. Uh, now, uh, our sample application uses local HTTPS localhost 5000 as the callback URL. So I'm going to enter that here. And then I'm going to select allow authentication without the client secret because our sample application is a single page application. So which means it is a public client. It can't use a client secret. So now I can click on add and let me click on okay. And I have added OIDC authentication uh, to this service provider. Now I need to add Asia Active Directory as a federated authenticator. In order to do so, click on local and outbound authentication configuration. And let me select advanced configuration and then I need to add an authentication step. So let me add the first step and let me add the basic authenticator as one of the authenticators. Let me also add Asia Active Directory as a federated authenticators. So which means in the single sign on page, the user will be given the option to enter the username and password or select Asia Active Directory to log in. If you don't uh, really like this option, you can also straight away use Asia Active Directory as a federated authenticator, in which case the user would be directly taken to Asia Active Directory single sign on page instead of landing on WS2 identity server single sign on page. So for me, I would like to use the advanced configuration. So let me click on update. Now I need to configure my sample application. So my sample application runs on localhost 5000 and I need to provide the client ID. So let me once again, go to Asia Active Directory uh, service provider. Let me expand inbound authentication configuration and let me expand uh, or open ID connect configuration once again, and let me copy the old client key. So one, then um, my sample application uses a JSON file to pass the configuration information. So I just need to replace this client ID with the new client ID and let me save the application. And in the browser, let me open up the application. So it runs on localhost 5000. So this is the sample application. So now let's try logging in and see if the flow works fine. So let me click on login. And as you can see, I have landed on WS2 identity servers, single sign on page. And you can see the username and password because we added basic authenticator as one of the authenticators. You can also see the sign in with Asia AD button uh, because we added Asia Active Directory as one of the authenticators. So let me select sign in with Asia Active Directory and have landed on um, the Asia Active Directory's single sign on page. So as you can see, uh, the app requests the following permissions. So it wants to read my profile. Um, so let me accept it and give me the necessary permissions. Now uh, the flow goes back to WS2 identity server. Let me click on allow once again. And as you can see, we have successfully logged in to WS2 identity server using Azure Active Directory. So that's it from me. I hope you found the session very informative, but before we wrap up, I would like to entertain your questions. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the YouTube chat. So as we wait for uh, comments, feedbacks, or questions, uh, I would like to take you to our Slack channel. So this is our WS2 Identity Server Community Slack channel. Uh, so you can join our dev channel and post or ask questions regarding our product. Uh, so I hope you will find this community very helpful. At the same time, you can also check out WS2 Identity uh, Community on Twitter. So we tweet quite a lot. And if you want to uh, keep Press with the changes and then the updates that we release. Uh, this is the right space for you. So you can find all the necessary information about what the community is working on, what kind of blocks we are writing. Uh, you'll be able to get all the necessary details here. So let's wait for a few minutes to see if there are any questions. So for the time being, there aren't any. By the way, we also have our community calls every month uh, during the Thursday of uh, 
the last week of every month. Uh, so make sure that you join us there. We discuss uh, quite a lot about what we are working on, what products and features that we'll be uh, launching soon. And we also have our engineers talk about uh, the different technologies that we use, different SDKs that we work on. So I hope you would find uh, those sessions useful. Um, and the next community call would be taking place uh, in April, uh, hopefully uh, in the penultimate week. Uh, so make sure that you uh, check out our spaces for uh, the links. Looks like there are no questions. I think we can wrap up. Um, I hope you found the session very useful. And until we meet you again, once again, in another session in Identity 15, this is TV signing off. Have a good day. Thank you so much.